Good morning. Once again, I'm here to take you through the study on second coming of Jesus Christ and also about the events of the end times. And as we're sharing continuously that he is coming soon. We believers, we godly people should not focus on the events. Rather, we should focus our life on our own performance which means our daily walk with Jesus Christ. And yesterday I shared with you that church will be raptured because the second coming of Jesus Christ is divided into two parts. The first part is called the blessed hope. The second part is called the revelation of Jesus Christ. So first part, the blessed hope has two events. Number one, the church will be taken away from this world. The church will be raptured. So when you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 50 onwards, there we, we read in details about how the church will be raptured. And same time we read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 to 19 and 20, you, you find there also expression about the rapture which is going to take place. Not only this friends, that when the rapture will take place, the another event will take place in heavens and that's called the reward ceremony. Reward ceremony. God is going to give us reward. And this reward is based on our performance on earth. Let me make you clear on one part that our salvation is free. Salvation we have not earned. We have not earned our salvation by our good deeds. Rather, we have got our salvation through believing in the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ on the cross. So our faith and repentance brings salvation to us. But when it comes to reward in eternity, it will be solely dependent on our performance. And I said the three things that God is going to judge upon. Number one, the motives, what motives we had being Christian on this earth. Number two, the conduct, what kind of a lifestyle we had on this earth. Did we live a worthy life? Did we please God by our, our lifestyle? Or we remain carnal? Or we remain in flesh? We were worldly, we were, we were pleaser seekers. So our conduct our motives and our service to Jesus Christ, that will be the basis of our rewards. So every believer is called to the service of Lord Jesus Christ and we got to serve him wholeheartedly friends. So don't shift your responsibility to pastors and evangelists. That, no, they have to preach the gospel. They have to plant the churches. They have to pray for the people. They need to share the gospel. They need to expand the church. Everything depends on believer friends and believers are called. Every follower of Jesus Christ is called to be fruit bearer. When you read Gospel of John chapter 15 verse 8, it says, My God's delight or my God's pleasure, my Father's pleasure is this, that you, much, you, you bear much fruits. Five types of reward God is going to give us. Five types of reward. Number one, God is going to give us crowns and he's going to give us many crowns not only one crown but he's going to give us many crowns you read in the word of god that every believer will receive every believer will receive crowns from him and crown is a symbol of victory crown is symbol of authority and crown is symbol of, of responsibilities every crown so uh, older time kings they would wear crowns even uh, uh, still uh, we sometimes when we honor people we put some kind of a turban or a crown or some kind of a cap uh, over the head of a person whom we want to honor 
and still that the, the, the caps and the hats are given uh, to the people to honor them and it's still like if you see in the, the different uh, sections of the 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 army okay or the defense uh, uh, systems they are the people they are recognized by the caps they wear the heads they wear so the promise of crowns are given so so those who are faithful they will be rewarded with the crowns number 2 the promise of heavenly treasures god is going to give to give us share in his heavenly treasures when you read gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 20 and first peter chapter 1 verse 4 it talks about the the promise of heavenly treasures god is going to 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 share his heavenly treasure with us number 3 the promise of commendations and respect in the heavenlies so when you read Gospel of Matthew chapter 25 was 21 Luke chapter 19 was 17 and first Corinthians chapter 4 was 5 there you find that the, Jesus has explained very clearly that if we remain faithful to him if we have a great motives and good conduct and we are faithful in his service in the heavens in front of host of angels God is going to to commend us he is going to to bring respect to us there will be a shout of celebration the moment our names will be read number 4 the the promise of overcoming the promise if you are and i we are overcomers there are lot of promises in the word of god recorded let me me give you some verses when you read revelation chapter 2 verse 7 2 verse 11 17 26 here we find that that God is going to give us all the hidden stuffs varieties of things God is going to give us and we will know only that time not now and it will be very personal and private gift given to us so there is a promise to the overcomers and fifth and final the promise of special responsibilities and authority of the lord's positions the promise of special responsibilities and authorities we are going to be officers with him we are going to be the the rulers with him the way right now the governance and government functions same way in the thousand years of uh, reign of jesus christ governance will take place jesus will be the king of kings and the lord of lords but we all will be in his administration we will be having some serious and responsible positions we all so imagine that jesus is ruling the world and that rule is going to last for 1000 years and you and i if we have a good motives and great conduct and we are faithful in service we are going to have a responsibility we are going to be in the ministry of jesus christ will be the ministers will be the officers will be in the administrations rejoice friends because reward is coming and our reward is going to last till eternity it's it's not going to be for time being but it will be there for very long time i want to take you to the next event the next event or the rapture is followed by the great tribulation the great tribulation what of god has a lot of records and especially when you read gospel of matthew ch- chapter 24 and 25 it talks about this great tribulation and also when you read revelation there also it it talks about the the the, the events of the great tribulation the great tribulation the time has be, is given to us seven years for seven years this tribulation will will last and it's going to be very fierce it's going to be be brutal and this great tribulation is divided into two parts three and a half years of mild tribulation and three and a half years of a fierce tribulation where humanity will suffer badly so just imagine rapture has taken place millions of people disappeared all of a sudden there will be alarm in the world and there will be rumors that aliens they have attacked our our, our earth aliens have have taken over this earth and they have taken millions of people with them 
they will be emergency declared and through all the social media platforms okay rumors will be be, be on spread that aliens have attacked us and we have to get ready there will be call for the one nation one world government and that will take place so tomorrow when we are going to study we will begin from this point study on the great tribulation god bless you friends have a wonderful time in the presence of the lord today love him and serve him with your own heart serve him whole heartedly friends serve him and love him let's pray father i pray in jesus name give good day to all of us oh god pastor father god check the motives of our heart i pray father god give us a great christian life style today oh god master so that we may live for you and father god give us opportunity to serve you because i pray this prayer in jesus name and everyone say amen god bless you friends have a wonderful day